Oh, good morning, everybody. It is, whoo, it is chilly out here, so I'm going to go and get into my truck here, and we are going to drive to the shop. So we actually got a couple of uh, trucks. We already got the uh, snowplow mounts hooked up to them, and so I think Hank's finishing up on like the, any of the electronic harnesses and anything like that. He's working on that. So we gotta, we gotta get to the shop here, and we're also gonna test them out here since I, uh, Hank told me <laughs> our uh, parking lot is under snow, and uh, this whole roadway needs to, a good, uh, a good plowing. So I might come back through and try and do that real quick. But yeah, it is slick out here. We got tons of snow last night, absolutely insane. I don't have any chains on my tires, so we're gonna find out how that works. I'm still in the market for a new truck because this one, that's another thing is that I haven't really dealt with the snow that much. And this truck is not the best for this type of weather, so we'll find out what happens. Oh, we. Oh, that's my neighbor. He's, uh. stuck in the snow there. Looks like the snowplow guy's gonna be helping him out, but that's, that's not good. Ooh, we got a guy out here in shorts walking around in the snow. That's interesting seen too many of those. Ooh, brakes do not like braking in snow. I tell you that, I'm going to go ahead and pull on into the shop here today and uh, kind of get into the warmth, just pulling on over to the side. We get this door closed over here too. Ooh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty slick out there. Go ahead and get this closed up. Alrighty, so we got uh, two snowplow trucks here. We got a uh, Chevy Silverado 3500, and uh, this thing, the guy already has the blue wheels on it. I gotta admit, it's a really cool style. I really do like it. It's pretty neat. And uh, also, we'll, we'll do a test drive in the El Camino at some point. Obviously, not while it's snowing outside, but we did get finally get that engine in there. And it is a beaut, so that's really, really cool. Uh, got the Ford F-150 with the snow package. Oh, and Hank was smart. He, he came on in too. <laughs> That's smart of him. Yep, it's just a lot warmer in here with all the lights and stuff, so we can just keep it a little bit warmer. Alrighty, so I gotta go check on some stuff in the office and then we'll come back and you might be able to see a few outlines from the camera of what might be upstairs and we'll get into that at a later date. Can't really talk about that right now, but we do have some projects coming up, so let me sign on in some stuff here and then we're going to get back to work. Now uh, we got, obviously, Hank's been working on these, getting the harnesses and stuff hooked up to the trucks. And what we got here, boom, it is cold out here. I want to get some warm coffee. What we got here is we got a western snowplow. Got the headlights, chains, everything that it needs. And we also got a western uh, contractor grade wide X, wide out yeah, Whiteout XL. And so this thing actually has adjustable flaps on either side to help direct the snow, which is really, really neat. So we got both of these. Uh, this one right here is going on to the F-150. This one's going on to the 3500. Now, uh, luckily, we can test these out <laughs> today, which is going to be kind of fun. So let's get the Ford F-150 hooked up here, and we'll try it out on our, uh, on our parking lot here. Boy, I am not prepared for winter, I can tell you that. This stuff is cold out here. So to give you a tour of the inside, inside of the truck, your basic uh, Ford interior. Really not too bad, pretty nice interior and stuff. Everything's working like it is. Everything's working really good. So uh, let's uh, roll on out here, and we should be able to hook up our plow pretty easily here. It's a nice looking truck. Got the nice little work bed and stuff. It's actually a short bed with the FX4 package. So that's really nice. Nice and we can just kind of come right on up here and we should be able to get all this hooked up really easily hopefully. And there it is. All nice and hooked up without too much of an issue. And I mean it looks good on this truck. Looks good. So let's get on into it here. And let's see here. I got my special controls and stuff for the plow. So we gotta kind of figure out what we're doing with that. There we go. And yeah, we can move that around. There we go. So just that we can pick it back up. Alright, so let's back on up here. And let's get to work. So 
I'm gonna try and just kind of clear this little pathway here off to the side and we'll just try and kind of take this whole lump of snow that we've collected we're gonna take it all the way over here for right this second the main parking lot's not too much of an issue that is a lot of snow it is surprising how smooth this truck is this truck is a lot smoother than you might realize this thing drives very very neatly I do appreciate that I'm gonna try and make sure that we don't uh, leave any streaks of snow uh, like we did right there about to fix that here in a second but yeah we're just gonna work on getting all of this kind of plowed up here nice and easy it's pretty thin stuff it's not a it's not any of the like the hard winter storms that's all nice and thick and stuff it's actually pretty light stuff pretty easy to move here so definitely appreciate that so there we go we got a bit of a pathway in and out here which is kind of all we need let me see if I can move the there we go need to move that a little bit more I think we got uh, if I remember yep so all the lights and stuff work on this you got the high beams and everything which is pretty cool I thought the uh, rods actually lit up but uh, that might only be uh, glow in the dark an option I think is what I might remember on that one okay so we got it so that it's going to kind of move the snow to the side here which is definitely what we need we don't want it going anywhere else so we're going to just kind of try and pile it up here so this is like I mean this truck is handling it really really good so one thing that we don't want to do here is put this on the road so uh, let me back up here and we'll lift our plow up because we don't want that being an issue here okay we're gonna have a okay we're good here we go all right we're gonna get this lowered here just kind of try and push this stuff off onto the side it's gonna be a bit of an eyesore there but just trying to kind of get it so we get a clear path get that lifted up there so that kind of works you don't have to drive through too much snow to get here so that's gonna be helpful all right, let me see. I'm gonna try. Okay, we got a car coming. I'm gonna pull off to the side here. Let him pass. There he is. So we're gonna pull around here, and what we're gonna do is uh, come from this angle. Go ahead and lower that. There we go. Just kind of help push that off there to the side real quick. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. This is a nice plow. I like it. Thing does good. Go ahead and take another swipe at this here. Just trying to get back down to at least the the base layer of concrete if we can. Might be a little bit wet, but it shouldn't be too bad. Go ahead and try and get this connected over here. This thing's got some good speed, and really, I mean, there's very little resistance from the snow. As I said, it's some pretty light stuff. It's really not that uh, not that heavy of a snow weight-wise. Anyways, it doesn't feel like we, we, I mean, we're getting through this stuff pretty easy. So, I mean, there we go. Thing works good. I mean, this is a very nice little truck. That's for sure. I like it. And it did, did that really, really well, so... Alrighty, so we got that definitely approved, so uh, I think this truck is ready to uh, go. We're just going to park it on over here. Let that sit. But yeah, this is a nice little truck. I mean, it's got the all-wheel drive option. It's the XLT trim, so not overly fancy, but then it's also got that FX4 off-road. I mean, this thing... I was expecting there to be a bit more resistance from the snow myself, but really, really smooth. like it. So we'll get the uh, 3500... Silverado hooked up and we'll see how good this thing works Alrighty guys, so checking this out. I think uh, neither of these actually have the light up Strips I thought for some reason that these did but they don't But I mean you got the really nice side of line you can see where your edges are So that's kind of nice to be able to have and I do think that they do have the glow in the dark feature Which that's certainly helpful So uh, okay, we're gonna go and we're going to go over to my neighborhood. We're going to see how well this thing drives on icy roads here for a bit.
It's very quiet in here, I can tell you that. Hop on to the outside. Yeah, thing has a very nice quiet sound to it. It's not overly noisy. Has a bit of a weird shift right in between like 45 35. It is you can kind of watch it there on my my speedometer. It just it's like it stops. It's kind of weird how it drives. Not too bad. A good night. We had somebody just decide to almost rip off my bump bumper there. As it just we'll go ahead and turn on just our running lights here. It uh, looks like they're still trying to help my neighbor out there. Here, I'm gonna run over some deer, but we're gonna pull on over here for just a second. See if we can't help. Hey, buddy, you need some help? All right, see you, buddy. All right, luckily we were able to get him pulled out, so that was nice. I'll go talk to uh, this guy. I think he's working on this parking lot here, so we'll see how he's doing. Alrighty, so he's going to go back to work, and we are going to uh, get over to our neighborhood here. Got to turn back on. Let's get back onto the road, and we're going to get over to the uh, neighborhood here and uh, get back to work. This thing is, like, so quiet. They did some great job. Wait for the van here. Great job on the uh, on the uh, sound didn't in these things. It is insane. Alrighty, that's get to work here so I think we got uh, we hit the stop sign well that's not what we wanted to do let me back up here we're gonna get our plow lowered all right let's see if we can get at least a path kind of cleared out here for everybody to be able to drive on definitely want to help them out all right, there we go start working on this I'm not gonna worry about individual driveways it would be super nice of me I'm sure and I'm sure people would appreciate it, but uh, part of the problem with that is uh, just liability, one of those things. Since it is my neighborhood, I don't mind helping out a little bit. And we're going to have to, I think we need to angle my uh, angle my plow here just a bit, so let me work on that. Uh, we've sent a little bit too much towards everybody's uh, driveways there, so got that kind of re-angled. It's still going to be a bit of a, bit of a lip, as you can see it kind of just working there but I mean really really nice I mean this thing has there is absolutely nothing holding this back I'm just kinda going slow and try and make sure that we're not pushing it too fast and getting stuck and also we got a ditch over there that I really don't want to meet so just kind of working on it but yeah this is a really really nice truck other than that just that weird kinda shift point and stuff that it has Somewhere, it's somewhere in there between 25 and like uh, 45. I'm gonna have to ask the owner if he had like a tune done it or something. Uh, so nobody uses this road, so if they do need to use it, <laughs> they can go around. That's 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 my story, and I'm sticking with it for right now. Uh, we do have these fields out here, supposedly uh, more residential stuff supposed to go into here. I'm not sure about that. I uh, haven't really seen anybody working it, so I mean, if they're not using the property, that is one thing. Uh, I, I mean, if, they, if they're not going to use it, then I guess you might as well put more houses, but I would like to see it actually used for farming myself over more houses, just because, one, I don't want more neighbors, honestly. But that's just a personal thing. And no, I'm not going to be selfish and do only my driveway. We're not doing that. I'm just coming out here to do the road for the neighbors here, so... That's all that I'm going to do. I, I can come out and shovel my own stuff a little bit later here. Let me kind of back back up here. And yeah, we got miss, kind of missed some spots here. It's kind of a weird, weird how the road is along here. It's kind of, it's definitely an odd, odd shape. So I'm going to push this and then we got to come back. It is such an odd shape, this road. Let me tell you, they, I'm not sure what the planning was on it, but it's definitely pretty weird. Let me kind of push this off over here. And then we got to make sure we don't push this onto the road because that, that, that is an issue as I'm not a, not a official company for this. I'm just kind of being nice as we're testing this out. So obviously uh, if I was, we could probably get away with it and wouldn't be that much of an issue. But don't want to be that guy that pushes snow onto the main highways and roads and stuff and then someone else has to come out and fix my my handiwork so to speak so I want to be considerate of that just trying to kind of help out the neighbors 
here since we got this and we kind of needed to test it out. Let me push this over into the fence there just a little bit. I'm going to lift up my plow because uh, we've got to come back at this in another way. Make sure nobody's coming. We'll just kind of go off here and we will come back around at it from this direction here. Kind of give it a little bit extra. Kind of just shove it off over here. Nobody really needs to be able to uh, see the stop sign necessarily anyways. They can figure that out. And when they put these fences here, I don't know why, but good night, these things are close. And we'll just leave that. Just just put down in the comments who do you think put that fence up. And good night, there's somebody behind me. Ah! Where'd you come from? Well, guys, uh, this was not what I was expecting to happen. Um, how are you doing there, buddy? Uh, you doing good? Okay. Uh, apparently, your windshield is made out of reinforced glass. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's cold. Yeah. That's why I'm standing out here and you have your windows rolled up and, and are trying not to acknowledge me. Yeah, I know. So, uh, you want to exchange uh, insurance information? No, you good? It was your fault because you thought you saw me backing up and you decided not to uh, stop. That's what you're gonna go with. Okay. Well, I mean, other than the uh, tire marks on the hood and the grill and stuff, there's really there's really nothing there. You're gonna have some snow kind of imprinted on your your uh, glass there. Yeah. So you good? We can just kind of. Kind of nod our heads since we can't, since you're not about to open up that window because it's so cold. We can just nod our heads and go about our merry way. That's what you're saying? Okay, that'll work. Yeah, I'll get my truck off your car. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, I guess just watch out next time. I'm not sure where you came from, dude, man. I didn't even see you. Alright, yep, I'll get out of the way for you and the next guy. Alrighty, yep, you have a good day. Alright, so part of the spot, that could have definitely been a bit more of an issue for me, ultimately. Could have definitely been probably on me if he didn't want to not get out into the cold, which he did not want to do. He wasn't about to roll down his window to talk to me, that's for sure. Um, I mean, we talked, we kind of exchanged our ideas and thoughts on the future of where we were going to go with all of that, so... Uh, I think we're good. I mean, I don't think it's a hit and run because we actually stopped and talked to each other there, even though he kind of mostly just nodded in agreement with what I was saying. But you know how that works. But, uh, yeah, definitely. If uh, you run into an issue like that, you should definitely probably uh, exchange information. Definitely nice that he had reinforced bulletproof glass for a windshield, though, and uh, his car apparently was made out of titanium or something. Because there wasn't a dent on that car. So, yeah, definitely a win-win a for everybody. So, alrighty, so we got snow plowed out from the neighborhood. So, this is, this turned out to be a really nice truck. Definitely liked it. And, uh, we'll see what we got going on. Oh, Hank's calling me. Hey, Hank, what do you got? Yes, yeah, so I just wanted to ask you, can you go up by, uh, my place? Uh, we got the uh, church up there, and uh, they don't have anybody to come and plow the driveway. Oh, yeah, sure thing. I can head on up there. Okay, thanks. I'll let them know that you're going to be heading up that way. Alrighty, sure thing. Alrighty, so I thought we were almost done snow plowing, but yeah, we got the uh, church up there by Hank's place that I almost forget about that's up there sometimes. But, uh, yeah, they, they don't have anybody to come and clean off their... Uh, they're driving the parking lot, so we'll go and help them out a little bit on that. Alright, we'll just kind of plow the main front around here, I think. We're just gonna I'm gonna accelerate back around and we'll kind of do just a, a loop-de-loop -loop here just so that it's easy for people to drive up on so they're not slipping tires there. We'll kind of let them worry about parking. But yeah, we'll just kind of start back here and uh, get this taken care of. Definitely would be helpful. And, see that so alrighty but yeah I mean this thing pushes the snow like nothing so we're just gonna pile up the snow over here because we don't want to pile the snow directly next to the building so I think that that looks like uh, it might have might have concrete not sure but it definitely looks more wooden than anything else so definitely 
don't want to uh, put the snow directly against it here. Back up. We'll just get this taken care of here. Going on around. We'll have to check the rear axle and stuff. I don't think anything was damaged on the truck from that incident. But uh, we'll definitely have to check it out just to be on the safe side. Gotta push the snow off over there. I don't think there's any other drives up this way, so I think we should be good just doing that. There we go, that looks pretty good. And uh, for good measure, we'll just come around, and just in case anybody loop, ends up looping back around into the church, we'll just give them a nice little loop-de-loop -loop right there. And that should work out good. Sweet. So, yeah, I kind of need to upgrade my truck. Upgrade my truck to an option where I have this capability as well. So, we're we'll, we'll definitely, we're definitely going to be looking at a brand new truck sometime this year. And by the way, guys, if I haven't said it already, Happy New Year, by the way. Not exactly sure when this video is coming out, but hopefully you guys had a very Merry Christmas. And uh, also are enjoying a Happy New Year so far. But, uh, yeah, definitely get this thing back to the shop. we got to, hopefully, we'll have to see if the... Uh, pressure washer is frozen or not because I need to get this thing cleaned up because it is pretty nasty. Look, it's supposed to warm up a little bit. I think we're supposed to get up to 48 later on today so that's going to be very very nice to be able to do. So we will see you guys probably back here next time on the GMG truck shop. We'll clean this up and let you see what it looks like but yeah both of these uh, trucks definitely very nice. The owner's definitely done a pretty good job style wise and everything. This thing, I, I've got to, as I said, I've got to talk to the owner about the tune because I'm not sure what's going on with it, but it's definitely a bit on the off side, that's for sure. So we'll just uh, take this on over to the pressure washer over here real quick. As I said, we're not, we're going to see if this works. Let's see if this thing even comes on here. Nope. Okay, I didn't think so, but I was going to give it a try. I uh, don't remember if I have one inside or uh, not. I think I have one hooked up to the inside line, so we'll check that out. Just park this right out here. As I said, I don't remember if I have one. Yep, sure do. Okay, cool. So we'll just grab this one. This one should definitely work. Hopefully. There we go. Got it picked up. Let's see here. Yeah, this one still works. And we will bring this thing inside so we don't get anything freezing on it. Yeah, the truck looks much better after that wash. Alright, get this thing inside. Alrighty guys, as I said, thanks for watching. We will bring you back next time with more GMG Truck Shop content. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Something that I have not actually done very much of, and that is snow plowing. Probably not the best snow plowing uh, job that could have been done, but still kind of fun to do a little bit of it here, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So, anyways, hope you guys have a great day, and I'm going to close this door so we don't freeze to death. Hank, where's the coffee?